Hey guys, Karan from Mobi Scrub here and if you're thinking about buying a 40 inch smart TV this season, then maybe you want to stick around for this unboxing and review of the new TV from TCL. It's a full HD panel and it's running the latest Android OS which is Android Oreo and it comes with Google Assistant if you do have the microphone remote. Anyway, let's take the covers off and... There you go, that's how the TCL 40 inch TV looks like and I think for its price point which is less than 20,000 rupees, I think it looks pretty decent. Even if you look at the bezels on the side, quite thin and it looks fairly good. At the back you get one USB port so you can stick in your pen drive and play videos, LAN port, antenna cable in, there are two HDMI ports so one could be for your set top box and the other could be for you know your PlayStation or your Xbox. You get one AV uh, input and one auxiliary out where you can connect your headphones or speakers. If you consider just the panel, then the entire TV is pretty thin. But yeah, if you do take the circuitry that's at the back, along with all the ports, it does bulge out a little. But again, you're not paying a whole lot of money, it's 20,000 bucks and still gets you what you want. At the bottom, there is a panel that has the speakers built in, so that's where you get your audio output from if you're not connecting external speakers. Then there's a TCL logo and right beneath that you'll see the on off LED and just below that is a button for you know turning off the TV or turning it on manually. Inside the box you also get this standard remote, it's not a microphone remote that you can use for Google Assistant, you'll have to buy that separately. It's quite nice, uh, feels pretty good uh, but it is quite tall. You get an AV wire, you also get table mountings. If you don't get the wall mountings in the box, that's alright, the guy who installs will get it. Looking at the specs real quick, a couple of good things. This is an Android 8 Smart TV, it gives you 2K HDR10 decoding, a Full HD panel and it supports Google input as well as casting from your phone. However, the brightness, the contrast ratio and the refresh rate seem to be on the lower side but I guess that's the trade-off you make for a TV that's just 20,000 rupees. And also talking about the remote real quick, it's quite nice, it feels good, very lightweight and the buttons also are quite nice and clickety but it's a little tall so might be a little inconvenient. Anyway, let's turn the TV on and there you go, TCL branding. Let me just fast forward all of this so that we quickly get to the interface. There you go, Android. And we're all booted up. So let's go hit home on the remote and there you go. That's the first interface that you want to get to once you turn the TV on. Let's go into settings and connect to the wireless internet first. It only supports 2.4 gigahertz wireless band, no 5 gigahertz and that's all right. Okay, now we're connected to the internet. So let's just quickly go through the home interface that we have here. Uh, first thing is apps. So you get all of these pre-installed on the TV and you can definitely go ahead and add more apps. Play Next, it's sort of, you know, the TV's own way of creating a playlist for you based on what you see. It does the same for Netflix as well. So, you know, depending on your taste and whatever you've been watching on Netflix, it will sort of line it up for you on its home interface so you don't have to go all the way in. And you can obviously turn those recommendations off from this uh, view. But let's ask the real questions. How are the colors overall and is the screen bright enough? Are the colors really vivid and are they punchy? Well, it's quite decent. I mean, it's all right. And I think for the price, it is definitely giving you all the value for money that you could get. I mean, to get that perfect kick-ass super display, you would probably have to spend a lot of money on more expensive televisions. But this quality, at just a price of about 19,990, I think that's what you get uh, at Flipkart. I think it does a very good job. I've kept the backlight at 100 and that's good enough if your room does not get a lot of sunlight. But if there is ample sunlight in your room, then at some point during the day, you will face some issues as the screen might not seem as bright. So the screen is about 320 nits, uh, which is just about all right. And it's lesser than you'd practically want it. So if you are getting this television, just make sure that your brightness is set to 100, which is the maximum and make sure that your room is slightly on the dull side and that not a lot of sunlight enters the room. Let me also talk about the contrast ratio. It's on the low side, it's 5000 is to 1, but I don't really see it impacting the picture quality as much. But it is partly responsible for not a very impressive display, but again, the demo is right here in front of you on your screen. I have done no color correction. This is as naturally shot as I could. For 20,000 bucks, I think it does a job very well. 
And there is a micro dimming feature in this TV wherein, you know, the TV automatically analyzes various zones on the screen and it adjusts the brightness and darkness separately, just, you know, enhancing your overall viewing experience without you even knowing about all of that happening. And coming to one of the really important things is how does Netflix play on this smart TV and does it natively run in HD and HDR? So the app, again, it's the latest application because it's Android 8, so you know, the interface is quite new. Now I opened Doctor Strange and you can see that there is an HD identification, which means Netflix does identify and the TV can decode HD content. But I tried the same for Daredevil. The Daredevil show is supposed to stream in HDR, but I just see HD here, which means for some reason Netflix is not identifying this television to play HDR content. But I did check with the brand and they have confirmed that this is indeed an HDR10 compatible television. So be rest assured that you will get HDR quality video on this TV. And let me also quickly talk about YouTube. So you could sign in. So that means that you can personalize the entire YouTube app experience basis, you know, your preferences and your watching history. The app looks quite nice. And again, no questions there because it is the latest Android. So you do get the best YouTube experience on TV so far. And casting from your smartphone is super easy and super fast. Tap on the cast icon, it'll say Union TV. You can change that name by the way in settings. Tap on it and it'll say connecting to the TV. And that's it. It will quickly connect and you can then start streaming your content on the television directly. Super fast, super easy, and it's really convenient. And finally, let me mention a bit about the metallic remote that allows you to speak to the TV. So whether you're looking for a song, basically you double tap the Google Assistant button on the remote and speak whatever you you know you're looking for so whether it's a song whether it's a movie or if even if it's just a question so you could go ahead and ask a math question or a general knowledge question or you could look for a song or a film or a trailer and it will show up i mean you can easily access entertainment get answers and control other home devices just with your voice using this remote on this tv and as i you know i just searched for faking it and it kind of gave me results from youtube and any other source that might be applicable. So, you know, you don't have to type everything now. You could just speak out and just get results on the screen and hit the one that you want. Overall, I think the TCL 40 inch is worth every penny that you spend. It's a smart TV, you get the latest Android 8, so you also get access to all your favorite streaming apps. There's Google Voice Assistant, uh, so you can pretty much just speak to the TV and search for stuff as you speak, no more typing. The only downside being contrast ratio, brightness, and the refresh rate. Otherwise, Super TV, high value for money. I would almost rate it 9 on 10 for value for money.